Hi, I'm Christy Whitman, Master Certified Law of Attraction Coach and the founder of the Quantum Success Coaching Academy, which to date has trained and certified thousands of successful coaches worldwide. Coaching is an extremely rewarding profession on so many levels, and it's also one of the fastest growing industries in the world. Through this sequence of short videos, I'm going to teach you the key fundamentals that you need to know to get started as a coach and to create a fun and thriving coaching practice that's in perfect alignment with who you are, what you value, and what you most want to contribute to others. By now, I hope I've opened your eyes to just how much success, both personal and professional, is available to you by choosing a career as a life coach. If I have, and it's a lifestyle that appeals to you, you're probably wondering how, if you've ever had any experience coaching others, that you can accurately predict if you're likely to enjoy being a coach, or if you have what it takes to build a successful practice. The question that often comes up for those considering this career change is, can excellent coaches be made, or are some people simply born with the ability to empower and inspire? And the answer is both. And it's also true that all exceptional coaches, whether they're coaching athletes, executives, or anyone in between, they share one common characteristic. Some of us are born with more of a tendency than others towards this characteristic, but everyone without exception can cultivate it. The character trait that makes a truly outstanding coach is having a commitment to your own path of personal, emotional, and spiritual growth. To put it simply, we can't teach others what we ourselves don't know, and we can't guide others to release their limiting beliefs and come into resonance with the next level of success they desire unless we have actually done this in our own lives. Now, before I say more about that, let me clear up a really common misunderstanding. When I say that it's important that we as coaches be committed to our own evolution and expansion, I do not mean that we have to be perfect or that every aspect of our lives has to be exactly the way we want it. To be human is to exist in a perpetual state of expansion. And this means that every one of us will continue to give birth to desires that we'll then need to align ourselves with. Being committed to your own growth simply means that you take responsibility for the quality of your life experience and that you regularly strive to fine tune the frequency of your own thoughts, beliefs, feelings, and outlook in order to attract and receive more of what you desire. And here is really the best news of all. And it's the reason, by the way, why hundreds of people who had no interest in becoming a professional coach have participated in the training offered through the QSCA. Even if you never coach a single client, the technology you will learn in this training gives you access to a reliable set of tools that you can apply every day in any situation to continually enhance your life experience. So whether you're already someone who is committed to bringing forth your best self, or if you're someone who would really like to learn how to, it really isn't a more perfect career than coaching. The other reason why it's important that we as coaches are committed to our own personal development is that the more experience we have in recognizing and releasing our own non-serving perceptions, behaviors, and habits of communication, the better we're able to be at supporting our clients in recognizing and releasing these barriers within themselves. And you'll also get a lot less likely be triggered or derailed by the issues that will come up for your clients as they take on the process of transforming their own lives. So in the same way that doctors, attorneys, and other professionals need to take continuing education courses each year in order to continue practicing in their fields, we as coaches also need to make sure that we're staying at the top of our game. In my opinion, this is one of the most exciting fringe benefits of being part of this field. Every skill you sharpen for the purpose of serving your clients also serves you. So in a very real sense, coaches get paid to lead extraordinary lives. I'd love to hear your thoughts or questions on what we've discussed here. So please write to me in the comments below. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. And to get even more coaching tips and insights, subscribe to this channel and we'll keep you posted as soon as we publish something new. I can have it all. I can have it all. I can have it all. I can have it all.